But we are just days away from the total solar eclipse, and we cannot overstate the importance of protecting your eyes during this phenomenon. Whether you're staying home or going to the path of totality, you cannot underestimate the risk of looking up without protection. We are joined now by Dr. Ruhi Sony from Sony Vision Institute. She's going to give us a lot of amazing facts that I didn't even know. And I've been, we've been talking about this for weeks now. <laughs> Doctor, thank you for being here. Oh, I'm so honored. Thank you. Okay, so one thing that really stood out to me was that if you are looking up at the solar eclipse without protection, like the glasses <laughs> in your hand, you will not know that your eyes are being damaged. You won't feel it. Exactly. You know, there's no pain receptors on the back of our eyes eyes so you could literally be burning your retina by looking at the eclipse and and not have any sensation wow. um, that you're doing damage so that's why it's so important that our viewers understand the importance of having these ISO certified glasses to view the eclipse. Sadly, we did just receive an email of one um, elementary school that ordered a bunch of glasses and they're not real, they're fake. And so we're trying to, you know, figure out a way to help these kids get these official glasses. But if somebody buys glasses, how can they tell that they are legit? Well, they're supposed to have a certification written on here. It's 12312-2. Okay. That's an ISO certification that tells you that they are safe for viewing the eclipse. The American Astronomical Society also has a bunch of links on their website to help you figure out if the glasses you've purchased are safe for use and if they are actually uh, made to the standards um, that are accepted. Okay, we were also talking about if you wanted to take a picture during the eclipse with the sunglasses on or even look through a telescope. Tell us about that. So it's really important, and this is something I actually learned, is these glasses alone um, only protect your eyes if you're looking at the eclipse. If you're looking through a telescope or you're trying to take a picture, there needs to be a special solar um, lens. There needs to be a special okay. solar a lens or, or grating on your telescope or camera to make it safe for use. Otherwise, the magnified light rays would enter through here and damage these glasses and make them non-functional. Okay, so keep that in mind if you're also using um, any kind of uh, other device. Justin was talking about the possibility of rain, possibly clouds mm -hmm. coming through yeah. on Monday. Not sure if we're gonna have, um, you know, an opening in the clouds. So maybe that might have people thinking, I can still look up without no, glasses. Absolutely not. You won't be protected simply from cloud cover. And you know, you hear a lot of myths of people who say they bought just high grade sunglasses. But the truth is, is a, a commonly available pair of sunglasses will only filter out 75 to 90% of the sun's rays versus something like this, which is on the level of more than 99%. Okay. So that's why it's really important that we have these certified spectacles. Okay, so can this lead, so if you look up and you're watching the solar eclipse without any glasses, even for a minute or less than a minute, can that lead to permanent eye damage? It depends on how much light exposure you get, but then the key, as we talked about earlier, is you don't feel the damage as it's occurring, which is why it's just not advisable to look at it without yeah. the protection. And what are some symptoms if people have experienced eye damage? Usually they'll wake up the next morning or maybe even later that evening and feel like they have a blurry spot in their central vision, like it's harder to read, it's harder to recognize faces. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when they have the first sort of uh, notion that something's wrong. Um, but you know, there's not much we can do once that damage occurs. Yeah, there's not really a treatment. All right, this is so important. Dr. Ruhi, thank you so much, Ruhi Sony, for joining us this morning and giving us some amazing advice and tips to protect your eyes. Thank you so much. Thank you.